and today we're going to be reading Pigsty, and I hope you enjoy it. Some of you might relate to this little voice. How many of you have a really clean room at home? How many of you have a really dirty room? Well, we're going to find out this little boy has a pigsty of a room, so I can't wait to read it to you. Pigsty by Mark Teague. Monday afternoon, Wendell Fultz's mother told him to clean his room. It's turning into a pigsty, she said. Wendell went upstairs. Much to his surprise, a large pig was sitting on his bed. Pardon me, said Wendell. He shoved some toys into his closet. But the pig didn't seem to mind the mess, and Wendell found that he didn't mind the pig either. He decided to take a break. When Wendell's mother came to look at his room, the pig was hiding, but the mess was still there. She threw up her hands. Okay, Wendell, she said. If you want to live in a pigsty, that's up to you. Wendell could hardly believe his luck. Now I can live however I want. He didn't even worry when he came home on Tuesday and found a second pig in his room. The mess had grown a bit worse, but he was able to jam most of it under his bed. Pigs are all right, he said, as long as it's only one or two. In fact, they had a wonderful time. They played Monopoly until late each night and left the pieces lying all over the floor. They had paper airplane wars and pillow fights. The bed became a trampoline. Then two more pigs showed up. The mess just grew and grew. That night when Wendell went to bed, the pigs were lying everywhere. They rolled up in his blankets and hogged his pillows too. Wendell told himself he didn't mind, but then he found hoof prints on his comic books. And Friday, when he got home from school, he saw that someone had been sitting on his basketball and his baseball cards were chewed. That does it, said Wendell. I've had enough. He ran downstairs to tell his mother. Sorry, she said, but your room is your responsibility. And she handed him a broom. Wendell started to complain. The mess was too huge, but suddenly he remembered a saying that he heard, that many hooves make light work. He marched upstairs and organized a cleaning crew. They swept and scoured, polished and scrubbed. Later that afternoon, Wendell inspected his room and pronounced it clean. In fact, it was a bit too clean from a pig's point of view. So while Wendell inspected, the pigs prepared to go home. One of them made a phone call and a farm truck came to pick them up. They hugged and grunted and winked goodbye. From that day on, Wendell kept his room clean, except for those nights when his friends came by to play Monopoly. The end.